Joining us right now is the author of that thesis, Henry McVeigh. He's the head of global macro balance sheet and risk team at KKR, also serves as the chief investment officer of the firm's balance sheet. And let me ask you this, Henry. Um, remind me, I know we talked to you last year. What was your thesis for last year? Because so many people called it wrong last year, uh, just looking at things, thinking that it was going to be a really rough year for the markets when the opposite happened. Yeah, I, I think to go back, we were actually in the constructive camp. And I okay. think what we were what we were saying is that when you think about uh, there's this intersection of fundamentals and technicals. And while the fundamentals weren't great in 23, the technicals were incredible. W what does that mean? There was no issuance. There was no M&A. And so ultimately, and there's a huge amount of money on the sidelines. So that created upward pressure on most risk assets, particularly equities. You know, when we look forward, Becky, it's a similar story. Um, when you look at M&A volume, it's all-time low. When you look at uh, debt issuance or equity issuance, it's really weak, and you've got $5.6 trillion sitting on the sidelines. So our base view is that the recession uh, in earnings actually occurred in the second quarter of 23. People aren't talking about that. Yes, we're forecasting slower growth for 24 for G from GDP, but earnings should make it through. And I think, more importantly, we need to just get used to a world World where we have kind of rolling recessions, rolling recoveries. When you think about what's happening right now, we're, ha we're having goods deflation and we're having very weak performance in the goods sector. But at the same time, so, uh, you're, the services is performing well. And when you go, you know, I just got back from Asia. When you think about Asia, China's doing uh, is, is growing more slowly. But what's happening on the other side? Japan's got its fastest nominal GDP in, in 30 years. So you really do have to roll up your sleeves. I mean, we, we manage over a half a trillion now. And so when we look across our businesses, we actually see some pretty interesting opportunities across private equity, across infrastructure, and certainly across credit. You, you think that, that inflation is even going to be below consensus. What, what do you think happened? The, the so, supply chains uh, just got fixed? It was, just I, took a little longer? Thing, which is, you know, we're still not getting to the central bank's mandates, right? Um, mm -hmm. We've been saying that inflation would be higher for longer, and we still believe that for this cycle. I think the next six months, though, you're going to have a disinflationary impulse because goods inflation is actually going to be deflation for the first half of the year. And mm -hmm. that, that way on overall inflation. Our longer term narrative, though, is this cycle is different and it's really driven by kind of four secular drivers. One is and Joe talks about this all the time. There's a lot of fiscal impulse. Uh, two is the energy transition is is bumpy. Right. Right. Um, the, the third thing is labor continues to be a. Um, uh, a, a problem in terms of uh, labor shortages. And then you've got geopolitics. And what we see, right, we own over 150 companies globally, is that you see a reconfiguration of supply chains. And, and while that's bullish for CapEx, it does mean a less efficient global supply chain. And so those impulses are going to play out over years. But in the next six months, I do think you're going to have lower inflation, which is a change in our thinking at KKR. It doesn't mean we don't, for long-term investors, which is what we do, we still want to own a lot of infrastructure, asset-based finance, things that have cash flow. This is not a time to speculate on capital structures and, and take really risky bets, but the market is, has spoken, and it's saying that if you can create free cash flow conversion, it's going to pay up for that.